but as an autistic, what does that mean to you when we when 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 you say listen to us? So what would you say to non-autistics? Like, what do you mean when when you want us to listen to you? What do we, what do you want us to hear? Yes, we want you to believe what we say when we say it. We say, oh, I have a tremendous interest in dinosaurs. I mean, it, it's really exciting. I know all this great information um, and it just, it really excites me the more I learn about it. Um, and you guys glaze over because that's not your frame of reference. Um, and it's like, okay, can we change the subject, please? Or, you know, you really need to develop a bigger interest than just that. Um, you, you right away switch to your perspective of how we should be, and you minimize what we consider a not only a strength, but this is where the direction I want to go in my life. This is what is of value to me, and you minimize it. Now, how are we supposed to have any feeling of social connection with you to want to do what you want from us, other than you give us rewards for doing, for performing, at which only in from my perspective, gets you out of my hair. If I do it and I do it quickly, then you'll be gone and I can go do my thing that I think is a value and totally ignore you unless you get in my face and demand something else from me. I'm sorry, but you're not listening when we talk. So when we say you, we want you to listen, we don't want you to just give us time to talk. We want you to actually hear what we're saying and value as much as we do what we're saying. And that is a strength, not a deficit that you're going to dismiss. I think that goes right along with what we were just talking about with give and take. It's funny and kind of ironic that that's what we're teaching autistics is the give and take. But as non-autistics, the example you just gave, we're not doing it. We, you know, we hear you say you want dinosaurs, but then we're like, no, why don't you broaden your horizons? And why don't you get interested in this as well? Um, so it's definitely interesting. <laughs> yeah, good because everybody else does it that way. Yes. Um, you and I understand it's instinctive. You want us to fit in because you think we won't be happy in life. And yes, we'll be bullied and will we be excluded? Uh, yeah. By who? People that think like you, that we should be like everybody else. Mm -hmm. And if we're not, then of course we're not, we don't want to fit in. So we're not going to include you. Mm -hmm. It's that kind of thinking that, that causes us to not uh, want to do things or only do it to please you to get you out of our hair so we can do what is important to us. You're not listening what's important to us, what we need and want. <laughs>